Some of you, the reason why you're not where you want to be is because you're a slave to your feelings. You give in to your feelings. You don't feel like waking up, so you don't wake up. You don't feel like studying, so you don't study. You don't feel like going to the gym, so you don't go to the gym. And that's the problem. Because it's very rare that you actually feel like doing the things you need to do. And how do you fix this? There's just one way. You have to ignore how you're feeling and do it anyway. You need to get your studying done. It doesn't matter how tired you are. So what? Everyone around you is also tired. Just don't think about it. You just know that it's something that has to be done. You're at university to study. It's just what you have to do. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear because it's an easy hill to slide down. Once you make one bad decision, then you make another, and then another, and before you know it, you're failing exam after exam after exam. You need to take action before you get to that point. To start improving your grades, to start improving your finances, to start improving your relationships, to start improving your opportunities. Start making the day-to-day -day decisions to build yourself up, bit by bit, every single day. Do the things that need to be done even when you don't feel like it. That's the difference between people that do things and the people that just talk about doing things. The people that do things see results. They see their life improve. They see their grades improve. They become happier, healthier. They get opportunities that no one else got offered. They will begin to discover things about themselves that they didn't know at the beginning. Everyone can do average work. Everyone can be average. Everyone can be lazy and live life without thinking about the long-term consequences. But not many people are able to shoot for the stars. Not many people can go on a journey to be the best that they can be. So be that person. Take on the hard jobs when they're presented to you. Take on the challenges. Do the extra work that no one expected from you. Be the first person to arrive in a morning and the last person to go home at night. Be the person that everyone in your class wants to work with because they know you produce results. Be the person who's known for their work ethic, who is known for their grades, who's known for their kindness and generosity. What would your life be like if that was you? How much more successful and happier would you be if you made a decision to become that very person? There are two sides of pain that a lot of people don't really understand. There's a side of pain that most people can relate to. The difficult side, the uncomfortable side. You always remember what that feels like. But then there's the other side of pain. It's called effort. It's called winning. It's called if you can push through the suffering, there's some great things waiting for you on the other side. But you don't get to see them if you give up right now. And that's why a lot of people don't get to see this side of pain. Because they give up before they get there. It's not easy to continue studying when every part of your body is telling you to give up. It's so easy to give up. But it's at this point you need to give it everything you've got. It's about pushing yourself to the point where you feel out of your comfort zone. Because it's outside your comfort zone where the growth happens. No one has become successful while staying within their comfort zone. Absolutely no one. The first three seconds that you start studying, that's the hardest part. But if you can push through that, if you can push through the first few seconds of studying, it gets a lot easier. You realize it was the thought of studying that you were more bothered about than the actual studying itself. It's never as bad as you thought it would be. The feeling of getting the same mediocre grades, every exam, every report, every assignment. 
The feeling of being tired of getting beaten up by procrastination. The feeling of anxiety and stress every time a deadline approaches. It's the tiredness that will propel you to have the motivation to change, the desire to get off the ground and stand up and stop eating dirt. The battleground is in your mind. That's where the war is. It's in your head. That's where the enemy fights. That's where procrastination and temptations lie. You've got to stop complaining. You've got to stop the negativity. Complaining has zero benefits. It doesn't help anything. It just pulls others down with you. You've got to take action in your life. What are you doing about it? You've got to find a solution to your problem. Don't be the problem. I see it so many times where someone is getting bad grades, but they blame everyone else but themselves. Believe me, that person is going nowhere. Nothing's going to happen in their life. And if that's you, if you're the person that is blaming everyone else for the situation they're in and not taking action for their own responsibilities, then this is for you. Take action. Take control. If you keep studying at your full potential, and if you keep reading and keep learning and keep asking questions, you'll see the results for yourself. You'll see your grades increase significantly.